Hello, it's me, Tom, your friendly neighbor atheist and beekeeper. And uh, it's been a week or so since I've checked in on my hive. Uh, I told you I put in some metal wire mesh as a substitute for foundation. Um, so I'm both excited and a little scared to see what they may or may, ha may not have done with it. And as a demonstration of how chill I think my bees are, uh, you'll notice that I'm not wearing any kind of protective gear. Just going to move slowly and deliberately, hopefully uh, not disturbing them too much. There's a fair amount of activity, but it is quite cold. Oh, a spider. That's not good to have in there. And see how well the top is secured. Pretty good. I think that's mostly because it's cold today. It's around 60. We've had a uh, fairly warm weather, and I think the glue they use is more secure in the uh, cold weather. <laughs> okay, there's, so there's, I see a ton of bees in there, hanging out at the bottom of the frames, and uh, See anything? Nothing. Okay, there's one frame that I put wax in. And you can see this is the foundation starter that I put in a half of them. And they have not touched these ones. Though they have worked on they started building comb on the ones on the lower. Uh oh. Got a bee hanging on me. view it doesn't look like they've started doing anything that's a little disheartening uh, well they're building some comb on the bottom of it I'm gonna have to take that off because uh, that's not gonna do them any good I don't need comb on the bottom I need it in the frame and uh, other than chewing their way at the wax some, it doesn't look like they've really done anything. Neither with the two, with the, just the strip of wax foundation I started. Uh, those also look like they haven't done anything. Now that might be because they're still working on the bottom box and it might be because they don't like the wire mesh. Hard to tell at this point, though being that we are a week into August, it concerns me a little that they are building comb on the, the bottom of the frame, but not on the frame itself. So I'm going to have to take a look at these because uh, looking down there, it looks like they're doing quite a bit of that, building on the bottoms, but not on the actual frames. So it looks like I have some cleanup to do, and uh, maybe I'll take that wax that they've started and smash it into the wire, and hopefully they'll get started doing something. But as you can see, they're getting a lot more active right now. They don't seem to be too happy with my uh, current activity. So I'm going to end this before I get stung, though I'm not getting stung yet. Anyways, I'm Tom, your friendly neighbor at Atheist, a.k.a. the beekeeper. And, uh, I don't know, maybe my experiment isn't going to work out so good. I'll uh, check back in a week or so and let you know after I fix this little problem. Come on, bees. Do what I want you to do. <laughs> I'll catch you next time. What to do when your bees are hanging around on your toes.
and your legs. Uh, haven't got stung yet, but it makes you a little nervous when they're hanging out on you. Seeming to like whatever it is they seem to be finding. And the rest of them have settled down a bit. And I've evicted, evicted the spider that was in the cover. They were swarming pretty good as I was doing my work cleaning up their uh, unhandy work. And uh, I have a sugar feeder here. And you'll notice the black and white wasp, which there were several earlier. And they look, they're about the size of the, uh, the drones. They've been hanging around quite a bit. But I've cleaned up the bees, uh, cross comb or burr comb, whatever you want to call it. They seem to like me and aren't stinging me. And uh, hopefully in a couple weeks they will have corrected the mistake and start building comb on the actual frames rather than on the bottom of the frames. Anyways. I am Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist, a.k.a. beekeeper, and, uh, ooh, cool, I got some orange pollen. I'll catch you next time. I'm still here because they keep crawling on me. They will not leave. They will not be discouraged. At least they're not even between my toes anymore. Come on, guys. Go. Go fly away. <laughs> oh, they like me. They really like me. That's not necessarily a good thing. So not only am I Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist, AKA beekeeper, I'm also a enthusiast of birds and neighbors mowing the lawn. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I have several bird houses. Along this way. And uh, I think three of them have actual chicks in them still. Can you say hello? Yep, hello in there as well as another, my first beehive, which was for mason bees. So they're a bit hard to tell what's going on. Anyways, just wanted to share that extra little, and there's my uh, <laughs> gourd birdhouse. Anyways, a little extra tidbit on me, your friendly neighborhood atheist. Love in nature, as God intended. <laughs>